Good morning, everyone. I am here with my coffee. I am moving slow this morning, so I really, really need it. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I'm here for my weigh-in and weekly update. Um, it's an okay week, I guess. Um, I weighed in this morning at 168.1, so that's a loss of 0.6 since last week, which is the wrong direction, but <laughs> I'm still happy to be weighing in at that because my check-in this weekend I was at 167. So it just goes up and down, up and down, up and down. I should actually probably check and see what my... Uh, Ooh, look, I'm all bright. <laughs> Check and see how I'm doing month to month, because that's probably a better indication. So one month ago, I was 168.1, and today I am 168.1. So one month of eating like a pig and working out at the gym five plus a day, and um, I mean, one to five times a week, and uh, I didn't gain any muscle. <laughs> or, you know, if I did, I lost um, fat at the same time. Who knows? You know, I don't have one of those fancy scales that tells me, uh, or at least approximates my uh, muscle and, uh, and, uh, <laughs> uh, fat mass. So, I don't know. I really got to get on that, but um, oh well. I'm feeling good and I'm feeling strong. And I went to see my new doctor, my new family doctor yesterday, and um, I really like him. So that's good. Um, he wasn't really familiar with all my stuff, but you know, as soon as I, you know, gave him my history and everything, um, he was, you know, he's like, he's gonna you know, look up my maladies, and my medications that he's not familiar with. My bariatric surgery too, which was kind of new to him. I mean, he had heard of it, but he didn't really uh, know what a vertical sleeve was specifically. Um, so, so that's good. And um, I checked my blood pressure, which is the main thing I go to my family doctor for. And I was at 100 over 65, <laughs> which is low again. So I am officially off my blood pressure medication. I dropped it in half about four months ago, and now I'm off. So that's good. Um, I still take my diuretic, which is kind of lowers the blood pressure too. So not like completely, completely off, but I mean it's one less pill to take. So <laughs> small gain for me uh, there. Um, my resting heart rate is still unbelievably low. <laughs> um, it was 49. I mean it was a little cold in the room, so. You know, but still, it's well under 55 um, for sure, uh, which is still up in that athlete range, which I find kind of crazy. Um, I don't really know why that is. Does anyone else have a really low resting resting pulse? I wonder if it's, it has something to do with having your stomach removed or something like that. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm feeling strong and I'm feeling good. And, you know, when I do do cardio and stuff, I feel like I can just go and go and go and go. Um, like my heart and my my breathing and it is never what stops me. What stops me is you know uh, sore knees and sore back and and stuff like that. So it's fantastic. I mean, I can't possibly be happier about that, right? <laughs> um, we ordered a bunch of step tests. Um, I told them that I had been trying. I've been trying to gain muscle mass and haven't really been gaining weight uh, while I was doing that, despite eating quite a bit. Um, so he's doing a full panel of like thyroid and testosterone and and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully in a couple weeks I'll, I'll get to hear back about that. I go see him in three weeks, which is kind of unusual because usually here you see your doctor every three or four months and that's about it. But um, I guess because I'm a new patient and basically just talked about my history today. So anyway, it's that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Sorry, I'm a little silly this morning. I'm just, I'm just in such a weird mood because I want to go to the gym today, but it's uh, the Saint Jean Baptiste holiday here in Quebec, so uh, it's like the Quebec national holiday. So everything's closed, so I don't have anything to do, and it's raining outside. So 
Yeah, I'm bored. But I had a great week. Um, yesterday I went to my niece's graduation ceremony in Montreal, and um, that was great. And she looked, uh, she's she's not really a tomboy, but she dresses pretty pretty plainly. Usually, you know, jeans and t-shirts and sweatshirts and, and stuff like that. So to see her in her, you know, fancy prom type dress and uh, cap and gown and all that stuff. And, she graduated with distinction, which means she her average was um, above 85%, so that's great. Um, and it was just really nice to see her all, I mean, she's basically, I mean, she's 18, she, she's grown up, right? <laughs> and my nephew was there as well, it was good to see him. Uh, he's like a busy little socialite um, and working full time, so I don't see him as much as I would like, but um, it was good to see him too. He's a funny guy. Um, so yeah, so that was that was great. Uh, the only sort of drawback was um, she goes to a fairly large school. Her graduating class was like 350 people or something like that. So the ceremony took like four hours. <laughs> My back was pretty sore from sitting in those, you know, um, not so great chairs um, for that long. Uh, but it was good. I was very happy and got some pictures and. Of course, all the ones with me in them didn't really turn out very well. They were all like fuzzy or poor lighting or whatever, so that kind of sucks. And um, yeah, but it was a, it was a good day, and it kind of things were really good. And she was she actually thanked me for helping out um, with her school thing as well because when I lived with my sister, I mean, I helped with their homework, you know, in her early high school, elementary school times. And um, she got stuck in her math courses um, earlier this year, and I, you know, I spent a couple of sessions with her trying to help her out, and she said it helped, so that made me feel good. <laughs> um, the other big thing on the weekend, I went for a bike ride. It was kind of an exploratory kind of bike ride. I drove to the nearest um, bike path or large bike path, which. Um, not really far, but 20 kilometers away drive, um, and I hopped on the bike path, and I loved it. <laughs> I really did. Um, it's not as challenging as, as, you know, riding on the roads or, um, you know, doing the back roads because it's pretty much flat and more or less straight, but um, there were so many people, so many people out on their bike, and, you know, so many smiles and just friendly hellos and just... Um, all the little road stops along the way were like full of people and that's I mean this is something that I'm definitely going to to do more often and I really want to get into that community because there really really felt like a sense of community um, so I need to get myself a new road bike um, that I can do some distance with and there's lots of clubs I mean all kinds of um, biking clubs so um, I think, I think, I mean, I've always enjoyed biking, and, you know, that was one of my goals of losing weight, was getting back my bike, but I really think that I can make this into, like, a, a lifetime sort of fitness uh, hobby. So, I'm kind of excited about that. Um, let's get it done. I'm going to start looking at the lawn sales uh, <laughs> this weekend, and um, hopefully find some cheap used road bike, because I have a mountain bike right now, and not all the gears work, but the wheels are all wonky because it had to carry me around, you know, 350 plus pounds for, you know, five, ten years. So, um, it's pretty beat up. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that was really great. And that's kind of encouraging that I can go and do that. And I really just kind of got on the trail and I just, I just rode like at a comfortable, fast pace. I forget what my speed was, and I didn't actually measure it actively because I didn't even look at my watch. You know, I just, I just went there to enjoy myself and to, uh, to ride. I mean, that's that's all I wanted to do, um, and it was great, and I really enjoyed it. And the, the bike path there, um, it actually it, you can either go between there's three different cities that are connected, or there's like one big loop that you can go around. You know, one of you know the bottom. So the bottom half of the loop is uh, 
you know, between two cities and pretty well traveled, lots of people. And then there's the top half of the loop, which is close to the country and it's more of a dirt sort of path. Um, so it's 58 kilometers to do the loop. So that's my end of summer goal is because I want to work up to that 58 kilometers. I may not do it all in one like shot, like I might do like, you know, go bike for two hours and then have my lunch and rest up and then do the rest or um, something like that. But that's, it's, that's, that's my end of summer goal is to make sure that I've done that loop. <laughs> um, I don't think the distance is really going to be that much problem because I've done, you know, I think I did 40 kilometers two weeks ago and um, it was challenging, but it was mostly because of the hills and everything else, not really the, the time or the, uh, or the, the act of biking for that long. So, yeah, so it was a good week for me. Um, I'm still a little discouraged with my um, weight, but you know, what can I do? I mean, I, I've got to eat more. Um, we're getting at the end of the month, uh, too, which is, I mean, I only get, um, my, my, uh, my solidarity social, as I call it, which is the support for people who aren't working. I only get that once a month. So at the end of the month, things get a little thin <laughs> around here, like I'm out of milk, for example, which is something that I really need to get because it's easy calories and easy protein for me to get in. So I'm missing that this week, but thanks, thanks to Walmart. Uh, I just I was looking at the the sales sheet this morning, and they have uh, chocolate milk on sale this week, so that's good. Um, it's kind of crazy how stuff like that goes on sale. You know, uh, like a one liter of chocolate milk, usually regular price is three dollars, and then it goes on sale and it's ninety four cents. So it's a, it's kind of crazy that the markup is, is that much on something like that. Um, so. When those sales come, I stock up and buy six or seven of them, and they're good for a month, so that's great. And I like chocolate milk. <laughs> it's extra calories for most people, but for me, that's what I need. You know, I need the protein, and I need the, uh, I need the sugar. I mean, it's, I, you know, for something when I go for, like, a long walk, or even just a regular walk, um, I definitely do like to have something right after when I get home, but a protein shake is like a little bit too much. Like I don't need that much protein, but something like milk is perfect. It's like a perfect balance for me. So yeah, uh, I made some more quest bars last night. Everyone keeps asking me for the recipe and I need to make the video, but it's, I'm, my technique is really like, I'm really, like I've got the ratio of what I need to put in it pretty much down, but the mixing is kind of difficult because it's, I mean, you mix your dry ingredients, and then you add this um, this, this syrup, which pours out really well because you put it in the microwave. Um, but as you're trying to mix it into this powdery uh, protein stuff, it's it gets kind of clumpy, and you kind of you kind of have to cut. It's kind of like um, when you're creaming butter and um, butter and sugar, or butter and flour. You kind of have to cut it um, to get it to blend together. Um, so I'm kind of struggling with a, a good way to do that um, in bulk because it's you put it in a big bowl, it's, 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 it just doesn't seem to work that well. <laughs> I may need to get one of those those dough things, you know, the little wire, the circular wire thing, and uh, actually use that. Maybe that'll work better. Um, but anyway, they were good. I made chocolate and cherry coconut protein bars, so. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm actually going to sprinkle some coconut on top of them just to make them look a little more appealing because I didn't mix them very well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what else am I doing? Um, yeah, not much else. Not much else going on. Uh, next weekend, um, there's an annual barbecue that I'm going to go to in out in the country, you know, closer to my town, I guess you want to call it, so I'm going to force myself to go to that. Um, not only do they have great tasting chicken, but, you know, high school friends and um, extended family and stuff like that, that I'm going to try and, not try, I'm going to force myself to go up and say hello and, uh, and, and get caught up with, so, because I need that, because I'm still slacking on the social business, so, um, 
that's a good event for me to do that. Um, what else? Uh, the community, I mean, so many people are hitting milestones uh, recently. I mean, 100 pounds, uh, lost, uh, gold. Um, there's, uh, there's so many people like I can't even mention. Um, and it's, it's great to see. That's all. That's all I really have to say. Um, anyway, so we're at 15 minutes here, so I'm going to let you guys go. Um, again, still open to hangouts and all that stuff. I, d I did a couple last week and they were really fun. Um, it's kind of crazy how fast the time goes when, you, when you're in these hangouts. I um, mean, it can be an hour. It, it can be, you know, I go in thinking it's going to be 15 minutes and then it's an hour or two hours of people just talking and chatting up and it's kind of fun. So, anyway, I will see you guys all later and remember to be strong. Because, you know, strong is the new skinny. And uh, that's the way to go. <laughs> so, see you guys.